Hello, Georgie B back. Today I'd like to show you how I made this pretty card. Um, it's quite simple. I've used the stamp sets art gallery. I've used these two images and the happy birthday. And I've used Forever Fern for that leaf there. Card, I have got a card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored at four and one eighth. I have two pieces of white cardstock at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. One for the inside and one for the front, which is already embossed. And I used this embossing folder, which I haven't a clue what it's called. It's a stamping up one and let's have a look it's new to me I've not long had it it is called painted texture that's the one I've got and it's got bits all over it I use this again this week so you'll see this again and I've also used the basket weave one from Stampin' Up. So that's the embossing folders I've used and I've already done it. Right, I've got a um, rectangle cut out. And with that I used some rectangle dies from... These are my own. I'm sure Stampin' Up! do rectangle dies. I used not that one, so that one and that one. If I measure it, I could tell you what. So that's what I use them two dies. Cut out that rectangle. And the measurement on that is. Two and a quarter by three and three quarters. Oh, I've lost a star and a heart. Put these back in here. So yes, so that's them already done and they will sit like that. I would need the dies for these, which is this die. These are Forever Fern dies. And I'll need the flower, oh, wrong one. The flower die from the art gallery. We'll choose this one and we'll cut them out after we've stamped them. So I have got some scraps, one for the sentiment, which we also need this die and I shall make it smaller in front of you. Yeah I'm going am I gonna make yeah I'm gonna make it smaller. So that we need that some scrap for the flower and the leaves. So put them to one side for now, and that will go up there, and we're going to stamp the flowers. Right, I am going to change the colour, and I'm going to stamp it in fresh freesia. I don't know what it will come out, because I've never used this ink on this flower, so we'll put the first layer down. It's going to be quite bright I think. Maybe I should have stamped off. I don't know. Let's see. And then we'll put the second layer down. Yeah you can't really tell can you? So what I'm going to do, do it again and I'm going to stamp off. I'm 
my scrap of paper, stamp off and stamp again. Hmm. And then stamp this one down. I don't know if I like that. Do it again. See, you've seen all my mistakes and trial and errors. Let's try putting it on straight. It might help. Right, put this on right. Well, that's better. I do like that. That's quite nice. Cut it off, and that will be ready for the um, die cut. Right, I'm using mossy meadow for the leaves, and we need two of these. Can't make a mistake with these. One, two. And then with my Versafine Onyx Black, we will do the sentiment. And I should just stamp that in the middle there. Like that. And that is our stamping done. So next, we need to cut these out using the dies and my mini Sizzix Sidekick. Helps if I put it on the paper. There's the other one. Right, next is the flower. Oh, didn't cut it small enough. I don't. There's our flower. Get rid of that. Now then, I am going to cut this short. So I need to cut the whole thing out. going to place this back in where I want it to be. That's a bit far there. And I'm going to glue that down 
like that to keep it in there. And I'm going to place that in and I'm just going to run it through and take it back out again. And there we have a smaller version of that. Because that happy birthday is too big for the small one. And yet you have too much left over from the big one. And now I've got it the size I want it. So, finish with that. And then, another bit of scrap we don't need. Now all we've got to do now is build our card. So, the glue. And we're going to glue this right, what's today's date? Today's date is the twenty fifth of May and you won't see this until Second of June. I think that's when the date is for this. And if you're seeing this on the Monday, that means I've uploaded them in the right order. And this week I'm doing uh, all white cards. So I'm not using any coloured cards, any colour apart from ink. No coloured cards. Right. This is going to go up on dimensionals. But what I want to do is glue my flower and my cut leaves on before I put dimensionals on like that so we shall glue just put glue down the middle of the leaves and Oh, that's sticking out a bit. Same with this one. And then this I shall glue across the middle. Make sure I hit the... Yeah, I did. And that will sit on there like that. Now we've got to add dimensionals to this frame. Now I've got these strips here which I'm going to use on the frame itself. Instead of all my dimensionals. That's a little tiny bit off. these are for Amazon, these strips. I think about 500 strips for 3 99 something like that. Adding these to the flower, flower, the leaves and the flower. And this little bit 
too big. That'll do. That's our image on dimensionals. And we've just got to stick it down. Take all the backs off. Actually come off easy these backs. She says. I'm going to place this in the middle. Nice and want it to come up a little bit. Now this, I want it to come over like that, so I am actually going to use mini dimensionals on this. I'm going to put one on that end, and two there, and a bit of glue in the middle there. this will sit. Just there. Like that. Now all that's left to do is put some pearls on. And I'm going to add three pearls. I'm going to add one up here, one inside the frame and one here. These pearls do stick really well, but I just add glue. And there is my card. Oh no, I've got to do this. You know me, I like to put this little stamp in the inside. I know what else we could do. Didn't do it on the other one, but I'll do it on this one. We could add the small flower, fresh flower. Where is it? Oh, here. Yeah. And just pop that. Like that there. And glue that in. And that is our card done. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. Um, please leave a comment, a like, and you can share this video. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And 
if you press the bell icon you'll be notified of any more videos I upload which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Well like I say thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon.